Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Orcs of the Misty Mountains campaign. So right now I'm gathering more troops. I'm having a problem of course with the money, but that will also be sorted out as soon as possible because we're getting more places, especially good places with some mines and some uh, capitals for instance, like the former capital of the Wood Elves should provide some income. And yeah, Esgaroth as well, the witches from Dale. These are all good cities to capture, so I don't need any more commanders for now. And still, as Gilead is under attack, it's amazing. I don't see any armies here, but I'll keep an eye. I mean, I really need to spot if the if they are using the back door or something like that. Gundabad build an archery range. You're gonna build a blacksmith. A great market that will be expensive. Let's go just with the blacksmith, and you're gonna build units. These guys? I guess so. Ostenath will build the camp guard. I could do these guys. They do certainly need barracks. Actually, I can build a fairground or a hunting lodge. I think I need that more. Because I need some money. Celeborg. Let a worker, at least it provides some money and it's also good. Thirdwin produced everything that I needed. Now I have some further units. That's cool. Could even attack these guys, but I mean, right now I don't want to exp over expand everywhere. You know? This is fully done. This uh, I don't need those guys. This guy, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna wait for that, because as soon as I take these guys away from the free upkeep, they're gonna be destroying my upkeep. You know? I'll have those guys there. There we go. You're gonna go over here. Over here. There we go. Spy, you're gonna go over there. You're gonna go over here. Yeah, I really need Burolg. This is fine. Gonna check what's happening. I'm actually gonna check this city, Kirithkathon. So is Erebor under siege? No, it isn't. CD is perfectly fine. This guy, I wish he would try to attack me there. Yeah, I wish he would. Actually, this guy is kind of hindering my trade, so I gotta be careful with that. Okay, that's cool. Let's move these guys. It's a lot of good units that I'm moving in. I'm gonna have the money that I need. I mean, as soon as this falls, this is gonna fall in two turns. It's gonna be cool. And I'm gonna lose a lot of units that I don't need. I'm just gonna waste some of these units so that I can reinforce with better ones. Um, similar to what I'm doing here. I mean, this guy, I can already send him good stuff. So let me send Heavy Goblin Archers to him. Heavy Goblin Archers to three. And now he's going to have Heavy Goblin Crossbowmen. So that is his army. And now he needs Heavy Goblin Onwards. Three Heavy Goblin Infantry. Let's give him at least one Black Orcs, one Mountain Orcs, two, three Mountain Orcs, and three Borg Champions. And that is his army. That is cool. That's cool. That's his army, and I'm sending even more Uruks and all that stuff to the front. Can I build Halberds? Yes, I can. That's precisely what I will. There's more archers coming in, that's okay. But as soon as I arrive there, I'm gonna give him some more units. Get ready for fighting. Come on. This guy, I'm gonna, I wanted to go to Onuminus, but it will probably be captured by someone else. Um, hey, this was captured by... Yeah, it was. It's decent. Remnants of Angmar are doing a good job. Good job. I could actually finish off everyone here, like I can finish off Bree after I take care of Dunedain, I think that'll be interesting. And in the meantime I'm gonna have this as well. 
So yeah, I have so many armies around, it's just so fun. Hold on a second guys, I'm gonna get some something here. I am back guys, I really don't want any more generals, I don't think I'll need them. If I need, they'll show up. Right now what I need is some money. Goblin Town did produce this, so Black Uruks and Heavy Goblins. Uh, I could do this for more units. Troll Breeder doesn't change anything, but the Great Markets do change. And that's precisely what I'm gonna do. Uh, I know that I won't be able to produce anything else, but come on, considering how much I've been producing units, you know, it's kind of cool. And of course, I'll I'll have better stuff because I'm, you know, sieging up some places and stuff. Right, let me go for this Dunedain fort. That's extra income that I'll have here. Okay. So there's a lot of armies coming in on Bari Donyonak. He does have some Scar Scourge Raiders, which are amazing troops. They're better than my Orc Mountain Hunters, by the way. They are. They're actually better than mine. Get ready for fighting. Because these guys don't have as much defense. This is going to be five turns. That's, that's interesting. Nothing I can see here. This guy is just gonna keep moving. He has an amazing goblin army. This is the type of army that I want to produce. You know, that's the type of army that I really want. Uh, you can go here, and suddenly there's a lot more upkeep, or less upkeep problems, I would say. I should build up all these units and then just send them to the forts before sending them to the front, I guess. Yeah, like these guys, they're cool. Get ready for fighting. Pick your feet up. Objective Commission off. Okay, I'm just gonna move these guys here, these guys here. They're gonna move in. We have completed This is a turn. This guy is gonna move. Snug archers and snug commission. I'm still sending those guys. Feels ridiculous now. So let's attack this cavalry unit. Well, it's. I thought it was a cavalry unit. It's just a daily riverman. It's okay. I am gonna fight it. I'm just gonna send some units against them and that's it. Or I can test out the archers. Hmm. That is true. I can test out how these heavy goblin archers work out. Now I know that the heavy goblin crossbowmen don't have as much, they have better damage but have very low range, 140. These guys have 170, yeah. So my best troops are actually quite average. They still cause damage, you know. Oh I have a goblin archer here, interesting. They can use stakes, which is so cool. Yeah, I think I'll actually just use these guys. Use them to attack and that's it. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to do something about that. 
yeah, like this, so that everyone gets the range. And I'm just going to position these guys. And I have a unit of war riders in position just to charge. The rest of the units, honestly, I don't give a damn. There we go. It's not like I need that either. I can move here, and you guys can move here as quickly as possible to be able to shoot. Let's see about that. Okay, of course they're going to miss out. We're just going to move here. These are rivermen, by the way, they, they shouldn't cause too much of a trouble. But I really want to see how these uh, arches fare. Come on, just stop moving already. Okay, there we go. There you, there you stopped. You're going to move here, I guess. And they're going to move here. Actually, these are the crossbowmen, so they should move slightly forward. They are missile, by the way, but these are javelin units, so it's it's okay. Work riders, these guys are just going to prepare there. Yeah, there we go. So ballistas should cause the damage. Then my archers will finish them out. Actually, on the best angle to do so. So. There we go. There we go. Come on, start shooting those. I think just a couple of volleys would do the trick. Um, as soon as they do start. There we go, Goblin Archers finally starting to attack. First attack from my Goblin Archers. It's just a small test. They are on the high ground, so that should cause uh, less damage. You know, but the, finally I have some archers, you know, they can do shot some damage. So let's see, it times two. I'm pretty sure that they won't be able to move with so many. Yeah, look at that. With so much archer firepower coming in, even if he gets some loose formation, you can see the outcome. Of course, this is not really uh, the best example. Or the best money. test, they but they're still on the way. high ground, so I guess it counts, you know. Okay, you have to stop that fire now, because you're too close, they could, could cause some damage to my own men. I don't think they, they might ca kill too many, maybe two to three. Actually, they managed to kill some. Because they lack shield, it's interesting. Like, these guys have armor, but they lack shield. All right, that's cool. 27, 24, 23... I guess I did lose a couple of units there. That, that were silly. I could have just sent out these wargs, but this is also a test, so it means that these guys cannot withstand uh, a punishment. Of course, these are javelin units, but it also means that they cannot destroy a unit that easily. So, yeah, even though they are your best archers, don't count on them as being elven archers, you know, they're not... that's not their purpose, of course. But still, it's a fine addition to a goblin army, I guess. Yeah. I could have just sent out the wards and he would do nothing against them. So yeah, I guess that is fine. Yeah, I got uh, only 8 casualties, even though I got a little bit more. I got one healed up. That was cool. Hmm. Oh, did just minimized for whatever reason. Sorry guys, sometimes this happens. No, let's execute them all. 
Now I'm thinking of what I'm gonna do with this army. Uh, it does seem like a decent army. It can attack and stuff. So I'm thinking of sending right away over there to Esgroth. But in the meantime, it's gonna capture this Dalian fort and ha just some free upkeep. Uh, Erebor has no army. Seriously, they have no army. What happened? Okay, I don't know what happened there, but I'm gonna have to send someone there. This is Goblin Archer, I guess. I guess they must have reinforced or something like that, and then since they were so low, they didn't accept that. That's, that's bad, actually. What are these? Okay, I guess I can do this and move into that fort. So that's extra four units in upkeep. That's so much more money. That's cool. That, that's why we use the fort. You know? That's why those forts are interesting to see. Oh, I can siege up Burj. I know that uh, the Dolgul Tour is not gonna like it, but I'm pretty confident that's of no interest. Hey, this is from Dale. Okay, that's that's cool. I guess to see. Kirikathol, yeah, he has some good units around here, but I'll have to spot what's going on over there. No, I haven't been moving my diplomats because honestly, it doesn't matter right now. Well, I should build up something here, but that'll have to be on the next turn. I'm earning three, uh, 1300, so that's cool. Yeah, these guys... I, I should destroy some of these units. I mean, disband some of these guys, just because they are silly. I mean, it, it was free upkeep there, as you can see, but it's still, you know, it's one more spot for better units that I can do. So five turns here. Uh, I want to see how this student and capital goes. And there we go. He's selling out. He does have good units here. He has the Hiribang and Hirilang. He has lots of good units in the Hini Dower even. That is cool. So all of these units are going to sell you out. And honestly my works are the best thing that I have against them. I have zero, zero archers. So I just have to close up with these guys. So that is precisely what I gotta do. Okay, these guys, I'm just gonna move them straight up. Okay, these guys, uh, honestly, I don't know how to do this better, but I'm gonna put these guys here. I don't know what you guys are about, but you're gonna move here, straight up. The rest of you guys, group up. There we go, we have to creep those up as soon as possible. Oh, hang on, these are goblin bands. I'm gonna move them here. Really? He's moving away? Are you kidding me? Woodland horse archers, come on. Please let tell me that these guys can catch up to them. Oh no, hang on a second. Let's run here. These guys, they're gonna go here. Run, run in. There we go. Yeah, I have to strike these guys. So over there, I'm gonna have to attack. There we go. Bulk champions, you gotta attack those here, Ilang, I guess. Yeah, let's attack these Hini Tower. And let's close up with everything, I mean. 
like I told you, I have to close up. There we go. Actually, let's attack over there. Modern works. Let's attack here. General is just gonna stay back. And hopefully everyone is engaging everything. And we can kill these guys. There we go. Woodland War is there. It's interesting. I'm closing in with a Heaney Tower. These guys are really bad in melee. So the Bulk Champions are actually going to move in over here. I don't mind losing some units like I've told you guys. These are all... Except these Bulk Champions, every single unit here is kind of like expendable. So pretty fine with that. Let me just confirm here. Did we kill everyone? We did. So now you're going to move in. Going to attack those guys and you're going to attack the Hini Tower here. There we go. These are 28. I mean, doesn't seem like there's going to be a problem. Yeah, these guys die easily, actually. Especially to these X-Men. These guys are taking huge e bang and losing severely. Of course. go over here there's some other units Legolas is dead yeah that had to happen there Legolas is dead and with Legolas dead pretty sure that uh, most of these units are gonna fall I'm actually gonna send this guy out into the middle because he I don't need to waste the bulk champions these are the best unit that I have there we go. Building was captured. That gateway. There we go. Let's attack these Eerie Bank. Actually, this not the Eerie Bank, the Tower Arenir. That is the other general. And so far, so good. Let's put this on time 6 and we should completely wipe them out. There's still some units fighting here which is interesting. We got that I believe and we're gonna get the general very soon here. Yeah it's just the general now. We're gonna win. Good. Perfect. He still managed to get as many units as <laughs> one per one. That's that's fighting elves guys. That's fighting elves. They always get kills. Just because they are archers and they're, you know, a top archer unit with good infantry capabilities is better than a top infantry unit. Uh, mostly in most battles, of course. Like a top infantry unit will, of course, win. You know, uh, the one on one. But you usually are not on one on ones, you know. Walk up behind the settlement. I don't know if the elves have been destroyed. I believe so. If so, then the conquest of Budog, it's going to be better. I think I see it as rebels. So they've just lost... I've just destroyed yet another faction. And turn 78. Yeah, that is cool. The Vine Regent of the Winion is dead as well. Chieftain of the Dunedain is dead. Oh my god, so many ones. No, I don't like that. Osgiliath is still under attack. The Winion in decline. With elves, with the way. Decline of the rangers as well. So two factions were destroyed. The woodland realm was destroyed. And the northern Dwindadane. So I saw two more. Two more factions destroyed. My goodness. Yeah. Now I don't need these trolls. The troll cave does absolutely nothing for it. I'm just going to build these guys up. So Zakala can no longer build anything? Yeah, that is true. I don't need anything from this. It, this just provides experience for units that I really don't want. Dane's Halls, same thing. So finally I'm getting ahead. Um, Kazadum, you could get what? What could you get? You can get these guys. That's for sure. 
Uh, let's just build up fairground, I guess, Temple of Melkor. It does provide some growth. Now let's get a fairground still. Dolbrin. Might as well just build this. Yeah, you can build these units. Imladris built a market. I guess I'm gonna go with the storehouse here. Karskelden a fairground. Let's go with another storehouse. Erin Dolan, let's get a letter worker. Fenis Drunin. I don't think I'm gonna go for that. Because there's a couple of places that I need. In, in fact, I'm actually gonna change the production that I had on Imladris and on Karas. Caledon, because it's too expensive. I can get some letter workers or something. Yeah, I can get a blacksmith here, it works better. Just just so I can, you know, build some things. Uh, yeah, blacksmith, or maybe even the fairground is possible. Yeah, it is. And now I get these places. But I certainly have to build something. This and over here I could get some roads, I guess. Because roads will increase my trade a lot. No, they won't. So let's get the Temple of Melkor. Get ready for fighting. Oh! Recruitment report, some interesting stuff. Installs over here. This is gonna fall two turns. No sleep in here. Come on, listen up. Oh, oh yeah. Gundabad is going to send out these units. There we go. Objective complete. Tarfilin, you're going to merge units and you're already building up. You need a low tax rate. I don't think I have anything to destroy here, do I? No, everything provides some bonuses, so I'm confident on that. Are oh, you going to leave these units here? Just build up some watchtowers. Everywhere. Objective there we go. Or yeah, true. So this is going to be right. mine. Hurry We're going to send everyone here to Grasgard for some point. Be yeah, I guess I'm going to take these guys. We've the enemy. That's a cavalry Attack. unit. Uh, it's going to be very easy. So I'm still going to do this battle here. And then I'm gonna send out all the units to Grasgard. I guess I'm gonna finish off the Dale faction before Erebor, which is interesting. Okay, let's attack. Just tell them to attack the Dale Cavalry. There we go. These are very, very easy units. Don't really need anything else, but these works. I lost some works, but it's okay. You got him. Three works killed. It's it's fine. Execute it all. And you guys, you're gonna move in. Oh, that's cool. Man of the hour? I don't really want them declining. Get ready, get ready for fighting. No sleeping here. It always provides me a man of the hour whenever I win this, you know? I guess you can check that out. This should be sieged up. Over here I don't think there's going to be a problem, so I'm just going to check out for other threats. Yeah, that'd be cool. Be cool. Sending out so many troops, I mean... It's even ridiculous, the amount of troops that I can recruit. Still recruiting these guys, of course. There we go. Infantry, infantry, infantry. And I can still recruit more infantry. Yep. 
guess everything is fine here. So that is a lot of... Those are a lot of factions destroyed already. We're gonna go for Bree, honestly. This guy is just gonna leave this common band here. It's gonna move out and you're gonna attack Bree right away. I mean, don't even have to worry. Look at that. This is three turns. It's not even a big army. Anomalies was taken. Yeah, I am at war with their Lun, by the way. But this guy can just cause war with Bree. I would prefer to siege both of these cities, and then they would be nearly dead. Honestly, so yeah, that should be interesting. I'm thinking, what else do I have to move? Not really too much. Yeah, so far, so good. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the next episode.